Hello there guys, and it is Thursday, and it is the duels. We're getting ready to see who will make the Daytona 500. All throughout today, we will find out who will start where and who will make the Daytona 500. At the end of the day, we will know the starting lineup for the Daytona 500. We know for a fact that Jeff James and Jordan Newman on the front row right here are locked in. Jeff James will start 2nd or 40th. Either if he does not wreck in this Gatorade duel, he will start 2nd in the Daytona 500. If he wrecks in this duel, he will have to go to a backup car and he will start in 40th position. The guy beside him, Jordan Newman, who won the championship last season, if he, ha if he does not finish inside the top 20 in this race and he also does not finish in the top two in the um last chance race then he would be eligible for the past champions provisional and will start 42nd so we know jordan newman and jeff james is going to be locked in also jeffrey lynn the pole sitter for the, or the daytona 500 is also locked in we know right now three guys who will start the 500 everyone else we have no idea if they will make the 500 or not so let's go ahead and get this thing started who we're going to find out in these Gatorade duels, who starts from 3rd to 40th in the Gatorade duels and who will also go home here today? Let's go ahead and get down to the starting lineup. As we get ready to get set for the Daytona duels for the first duel here. Man, great weather here today in Daytona. And we're getting ready to set the field. You got to finish in the top 20 in this race to be locked into the Daytona 500. If you're a past champion and you finish outside the top 20, you'll, you might have to use a past champion's provisional to get in. But Jeff James is going to lead us all down to the green flag. Green flag is out for Daytona duel number one. Coming to complete lap number one, Jeff James in the number 88 Corweiser car is going to lead lap number one, and the scramble is on behind them. It's going to be interesting to see how these cars handle throughout the the day here. They made the SCS officials that wanted them to spread out and uh, on the re on the start there get one of them get too bunched up. But here comes Jordan Davis at the inside here, nearly three wide there, and Jake Park gave in there and slid up high there. These guys do not really want to wreck their cars at all because if you wreck no matter who you are you could be um like say james Sorofox right there in the 28 on the bottom or you could be some guy in the back like devin becker oh there's a wreck there just like i said there's one guy right there that's jordan newman and charles jackson and lucky they're staying high they're out of the way and oh getting slammed by i think that was skyla johnson and yeah, that was Skyla Johnson right there in the 62 car. In the Finn Guy Pistone car. Jackson looks actually okay. There's Jordan Newman right there. He looks like he's got some damage there. Um, we, we do know for a fact if Jordan Newman does not finish in the top 20, he's got the past champions position provisional because he is the recent champion, but his car does not look terribly bad. Looking at it again here. Um, they're three wide there, and the SS officials did not really want them to um, get too crazy on the start, so they made them spread out. But right there, wow, the safer barrier is what caught him, and Ryan Acosta got a piece of it as well. Stephen Jenkins got, did a good job to get on the apron there to miss it. Hunter Davis and Jordan Fisher goes on by. But I'm actually really surprised that Charles Jackson and Jordan Newman didn't slide down the track. But here comes Skyla Johnson and Sky Commons. They're racing right there for the 20th position, and Skyla hits the 31, so Skyla Johnson's chances at making the Daytona 500 is done. I think everyone can make it 
all the way on fuel if they pit from here. Maybe or maybe not. I'm not quite sure. Maybe some people think they can't make it. Just like um, James Zora Fox, Eric Burton, and Jacob Hart, and Stephen Jenkins. They're all coming in. So a good bit of people, good bit of people stay out right here. James Zora Fox, Eric Burton, Jacob Hart, Stephen Jenkins, Cooper Siron, Kyle Collins, Sean Galligan, Sky Collins, Nathan Timberlay, Zebulu Stark all stay out. While right here, first off the pits is Jordan Davis and also um, the 88 of Jeff James. As we get ready to go set back to green, James Sorafox is going to have the lead. And right here, looks like nobody... Well, look at this. Um, Bradley Bishop Jr., I, he must have had a problem or something because he never took the green flag. Um, and I never caught that, so we're going to go backwards in time for a second. So yeah, one of the Crayola cars, um, Bradley Bishop Jr., trying to make this race here. His engine would let go even before he started this race here. <clears throat> and Bradley Bishop Jr., his chances of making the 500 was so slim before this race even started. And now it's, it's done for him. But you still got three Crayola cars still trying to make this 500. As the race is continuing on, Silver Fox has really not had any troubles right here. They're just kind of like running single file as of right now. Um, but we're going to kind of kind of check back here with the transfer position and everything. Um, this is the transfer spot. Basically, Leo Gomez just lost it right there to Matt DeLeo as Matt DeLeo just went by. And I'm actually really surprised Basilio Gomez even had that spot um, for a second. I don't, he must have not stayed out. He must have stayed out or something. Um, but Jordan Fisher is in 18th right now. Um, 19th is Matt DeLeo. And 20th right now is um, Ryan Acosta. Jordan Newman right now would have to go into that last chance qualifier with the past champions provisional. And yeah, he's the only... Well, Bassinger, something's wrong with Bassinger. He's outside the top 20 as well. Bassinger was running inside the top 10 on lap number 9, and he had to pit for some reason. I guess um, they thought he may have had a vibration on the car or something, and Jake Bassinger, he brings it on in. He does have a past champions provisional, but if Jordan Newman or Jacob Hart needs that past champions provisional, it would go to them before Bassinger because he's third on the list, and also Charles Jackson brought it on in. But he, he was further back, but Charles Jackson, he already had further damage and was probably coming in to fix it. But right there, Bassinger, it was a vibration, and now he isn't just hoping for a caution. Here's one of the guys that are really trying so hard to race their way in. Daniel Boyles did not pit, and he's going pack going down now from 17th to 18th to 19th to 20th, 21st, and now down to 22nd. And right there, Jordan Newman. This is exactly what Jake Bassinger wants to see is Jordan Newman racing his way in with Bassinger having troubles. And speaking of Bassinger, he is now going to lap down to James Sorafox. And they're fixing to run up on Skyla Johnson, who is only fixing to go two laps down. James Sorafox leading Jeff James, Eric Burton, and Jacob Hart. There's Sean Galligan with Cooper Siron and Stephen Jenkins. Further back, Jordan Davis right there. But Solar Fox continuing to lead the way. But not for long now. Jeff James is right there peaking low on Solar Fox. It's hard to get the job done right here. It's basically seeming enough that as we quietly check on these guys further again, Sky Commons running full-time schedule does not have a very fast car. He's arc racing, but he does have kind of a good... He's getting the most best equipment out of arc racing. Devin Becker... And Amina Delise are really off the pace when Sky Commons actually have a, has a good car enough to actually do some good and maybe win this race here. Jordan Newman is up some spots there. But right here, Zebulu Stark for the Squids Racing Team, um, he did not pit on that last pit stop. And with the troubles from Bassinger and Jackson in them, um, this moves Zebulu Stark up to 20th right now and Nathan Timberlay is doing all he can to try and stay in the draft with Zebulu Stark so he could possibly get up there and try and draft up on Zeb to maybe make the pass there because that is the transfer spot for the Gatorade Duel to make the Daytona 500 so two underfunded cars this is the only underfunded driver right now inside the top 20 that is really really off the pace so this would be the biggest upset of the 500 right now as the race is still going on up front, up front. Sora Fox continuing to man the charge up front. 
leading Jeff James, Eric Burton, Jacob Hart still right in behind, but with lap car Devin Becker really getting in his way, he's kind of lost this little pack here, and now it's basically just these front three as they are fixing to run up on more lap cars of Mason Powers, Basil Leo Gomez, and VJ Pushonda, and James Zorofox is looking like he's got one fast race car there just leading the charge. Here's one guy I'm actually really surprised is running off the pace, kinda. Not really, but sorta, kinda. Um, James Shelley and Sean Harple, the sums cars, are really, are not really under, they're kinda underfunded. So, they're not really fast, but they're not really slow. We saw James Shelley in the, um, Bud Shootout, where he did really good, um, up there because of the draft. So I figured Sean Harper would do somewhat some good, um, but Sean Harper is struggling here, and he's lost the pack here. But the only thing good for Sean Harper is Harper actually has good equipment compared to what um, Zebulon Stark and Nathan Timberlay are, and he's actually running a little bit faster, like two mile an hour quicker, and is catching them just a little by little. And the thing is, Daniel Voiles has somewhat. He's not, he's very underfunded, but he can somewhat stay in the draft with Harple and is staying up to speed. And this is going to help Voiles um, try and make one of the biggest races of his career. Up front, we would have a new leader change when we, the leaders would run up on lap traffic of base Leo Gomez and Mason Powers as they was running side by side. Leaders would go three wide. This will allow Jacob Hart to catch these guys once more. And Eric Burton on the inside is going to take the lead due to the, all the scramble right there. Wow, Mason Powers bounced off the wall into Jeff James there. And <clears throat> right on by goes Eric Burton. But soon after, James Sorafox would take the lead over once more with the draft right there. James Sorafox has got one fast hot rod there in that 28th Haveline Ford as he just goes right by Eric Burton to take the lead again. These guys are trying all they can to really try and catch these guys up front. And they're doing a pretty good job here. Jordan Davis, Sweden, PJ Williams, Cody Lamas, Jake Bassinger, a lap car. Right now runs 24th. He probably could still get um, get into this race with um, the guys, um, the slow guys still being ran down there. They're slowing down because the underfunded drivers are in the transfer spot. And uh, Andreas Allen, there's Charles Jackson, Cooper Siron, Sean Galligan. They're all trying to catch these front four right here. Here is the battle for the transfer spot. Sean Harple is trying to run down these guys. Harple wants to make this race. Zebulu Stark has the final transfer spot and is trying to upset the field by making this race and is leading Nathan Timberlay. But Sean Harple has snipped the draft good enough to get up there to him. And now the leaders are coming up to lap them guys too. James Sorafox goes on by Daniel Boyles and Boyles is going to try and tag along with this little pack here to try and get up there but this is good news for um, Jake Bassinger if he can get past Skyla Johnson Bassinger could still race his way in because they are running up on these guys right here and Harple in the 14 goes on by for the final transfer spot however caution flag would come out on the racetrack when Mason Powers a lap down car would blow his engine right here and lose control of it in the oil and slap the wall and spin out right there and Mason Powers, um, a rookie of last season, um, he's going to miss the Daytona 500 here if he does not race his way in in, lo in the last chance qualifier. Everyone who did not pit from last time is pitting this time, and everyone should be able to make it from every all, the all the way from now. Jacob Park did not pit, though. He is the leader. Sean Harple in the final transfer spot. He is in 20th, and... You can bet that all these lap cars are going to be battling for that spot right there. And so everyone else comes on in. It's going to be a busy road down on pit road. And oh boy, there's going to be a lot of scrambling. There's a lot of beating and banging on the pits. Maybe that won't beat up the cars too much there. But Jeff James and everyone. Boy, oh boy, James Sorafox. He got knocked over there. Not knocked over, but I mean he got knocked in there by... Oh my god. James Sorafox just got pinned in there, and now he can't leave. And look at this. Right here, Jordan Davis got spun out as well by Eric Burton right there. Oh, my goodness. Jordan Davis. A big hit right there with Eric Burton, and 
the fastest guys right there are on the pits. James Sorafox, Jordan Davis, Eric, Eric Burton. Maybe, I hope they can lead the pits. Right there, that's two past champions right there. These are all fast race cars that could possibly win this Daytona 500 if they just make the race. And they're stuck on pit road due to incidents. We're going to see what happened here. Um, look in here on pit road. We're really looking on the pit road spectrum. You can see everyone really being um, a Newton's there. Everyone beating and banging in the back. Um, going to look here. Um... James Thoreau Fox is going to be fixing a lead right here. Yes, he, he's fixing a lead right there, and Jordan Fisher knocks him in. And then here comes Jordan Davis fixing to... Well, I don't know what happened there with Jordan Davis. really don't know what happened there. I'm going to look again um, right here, because something happened with Jordan Davis. Davis, he gets right side tires, and that's it. He's fixing a lead. He leaves right here, and I don't know what happened to Jordan Davis. And then right here, he's fixing to get pushed right into Eric Burton's pits. And then Burton's going to fix the lead here in a second. And he can't. And it glitches. And it pop, and it makes um, Davis go back to his pits. He gets a black flag. And Burton, he gets put back in his pits just like James Sorofox was. And now, I don't even know if any of them people right there will be able to race their way in now. Sky Commons was hoping to get a... A lead lap bonus and that gets you extra money but um, we're fixing to come back to the green and right there you see it right there Eric Burton Jordan Davis James Sora Fox they're not leaving the pit road and that's gonna be terrible for them and especially for Jordan Davis he might not make this 500 because right now as it stands Eric Burton would get the previous past champions provisional but we do not know if Someone in the next duel, that the mo someone in the next duel, more previously past champion, will need that provisional as well. But Burton and Davis, past champions, are stuck on pit road, and they can't leave. Well, we are past the halfway point. Jacob Hart's our leader. Bassinger is back up in the transfer spot now, and these guys are still on the pit road. And I, I hate it for them. I hate that them fast race cars right there that could have had a chance to win this 500 may end up missing this race. But here we go. Jack Park leads to the green once again. Caution flag is out. James Sora, Fox, Eric Burton, they're back on the racetrack. I don't see anyone else. I, I think the five may have retired out of the race. Yes, he did. Jordan Davis retired out of the race. But Burton. And Sora Fox got back out before I think they could be enough laps. I don't know how many laps down they are. They're a couple of laps down, so that's going to be really bad for them. But Sora Fox is going to get the pass on Wave around right there. He's going to let him go by, but I don't think they're going to let Burton back around. They may let Burton get another lap back here. Um, the officials might. <clears throat> yep, they let Burton and Sora Fox go back around, but caution flag is out. So guys, this is why we are under the caution. As the pace car brought us un down under the caution flag there, the officials decided it was not right to black flag, um, or the black flag, all these guys, and put them many laps down. So they let them back under work of their pit stops there and let them finish their pit stops and get back out there. So Sora Fox and Burton rushed to get back out there and the officials decided to let them get their one lap back they're not three laps down. They are now two laps down. And I don't see them getting their, their two laps back. They might be able to, but it depends if we get caution flags and if they're in front of the leaders or not. So, really disappointing luck right there for Solar Fox and Eric Burton both. It's only duel number one, and it's already this crazy. Um, Bass Singer's in 17th. 18th is Sean Harple. First is just Jeff James right now. Charles Jackson's in 19th. Zebulu Stark with the final transfer position is in 20th. The battle for that transfer spot is right there with Daniel Boyles in 21st. And 22nd is basically O Gomez. And then 23rd, Nathan Timberlay. And then there's Eric Burton, who's two laps down. He's trying to get up there. And next one on the grid right there, also two laps down, is Skyla Johnson. 
And also, BJ Prashonda is a lap down, trying to get up there as well. And <clears throat> James Sora Fox, two laps down, trying to get up there. Um, looking for more guys. Devin Becker's a lap down. So, yeah, that's basically what it is right now. And Jeff James leads the way. Skipping ahead a little earlier right here, this is still the transfer spot. Nathan Timberlake doing, he has to do all he can to hang on to that draft right there because if Zebulu Stark and Sky Common start to pull away, then Nathan, he, he's going to lose, he's going to have to go into the last chance qualifier and I'm sure he will not make it if he, ha if he has to go in that last chance qualifier because you got guys like Jordan Davis that is going to be doing all they can to be in that race, all the fast guys right there. But Nathan Timberley trying to beat the other underdog of Zebulu Stark right here. And this is for 20th position, the last spot, the last chance right here, trying to start right there, 39th on the grid, or not even qualifying at all right here. The purchase of starting this race and finishing last in the Daytona 500 is huge. And Nathan Timberlay is drafting up the Zebulu Stark now, and it, these 200 funded guys are going to throw it out here. All right, skipping ahead to 10 laps to go now. Jeff James, <clears throat> Andreas Allen, Ryan Acosta, PJ Williams, Cody Lamas, the top five. Then there's actually Mason six, seven, Stephen Jenkins. Boy, I feel really badly for Eric Burton. He should, he could have been like a contender for the Daytona 500. And now we don't know if he'll make the 500, if, if he'll have to use the past champions provisional or not. Um, and then there's Cooper Cylon in ninth. Um, and then all these other lap cars right there. Man, I feel really badly for Sora Fox as well. <clears throat> More importantly, I feel really badly for Davis as well. Because out of any of them guys right there, um, Eric Burton could possibly be the past champion right now. But depending on how the uh, past champions in the next duel go. But we're going to run up on lap traffic. How is this going to plan out for Jeff James here? He goes low right there. That might do him some good there. But P.J. Williams and Ryan Acosta up high is going to get somewhat shorted out up high there. Andres Allen goes on by right there. Cody Lamas, a rookie, doing a real good job for CVM here in the duel. Moves his way up to third. But further back, Nathan Timberlay has closed a little bit. Nathan Timberlay is trying to work on Zebulu Stark as much as he can here. And he's got to be able to make the move here soon because, oh, here it is. Look at this. Nathan Timberlay almost gave him the bumper into one and a little wheel hop there. He got loose. And Zeb moved up the track. And they're going to catch the lap car here. Who's it going to help? Oh, Sky Commons gets a little held up there as well. And Skyla Johnson moves up top there. And that's going to allow Nathan Timberlay to go right on by there. And now Sky not Sky Commons, but Nathan Timberlay moves up into the last transfer spot, and Zebulu Stark is now down to 21st. But Zeb is not going to go down without a fight. Here he is with a little run here, a little slingshot for themselves here. The underdogs are giving their all right here. Zebulu Stark now down the inside of Nathan there. These two underfunded slow drivers are just tagging along this mediocre car of Sky Commons, and... Boy, Zeb's trying to get by here, and I think he might. He has the preferred groove, and Sky Commons is going to help Zebulu Stark right there with a little draft there, and Zebulu Stark now back into the last transfer spot. I'm telling you, these guys are going to throw it out there. Look at this. Nathan Timberlake looking low once again, and is trying to get there because making the 500 is huge for this series, and especially for underfunded teams like this. And I didn't even think they would, any of these guys right here would make it. And they have a chance to at least slide one of their cars in. But a caution flag is out. Something's wrong here. And Jeff D James is leading. And I think that's the race there. The race is over. So that means they're racing back to the start finish line. And Zebulu Stark has the final spot. And Matt DeLeo got in the way there. So it looks like Zebulu Stark is going to make this day 500 when Nathan Timberlay isn't. And he needed them last few laps to be able to make the pass work. Somebody spun through down through turns four here. But Zebulu Stark's going to get the final transfer spot here. And somebody spun out. And I think it may have been Bassinger. And I think he's still good enough to make this race too. But I think he was the reason for the caution. Here it is here. They ran up on a slow car of Skyla Johnson. 
and right here we're going to slow-mo it here just a little bit. Um, everyone's scrambling. Look at Allen hitting the wall there. Bassinger hits Allen, and down into Burton, and there, there's Acosta, but Acosta got away with it, and around goes everyone else, and I think Andreas, Andreas actually saved it. Burton kept it a good save there, but let's see on Bassinger. He goes sliding right back up the track, and does he even get hit? Oh boy, he got close there. Good job by everyone to missing. But caution flag came out for it. And Bassinger, I think, is going to make this race by making it inside the top 20 at this rate here. I think he did it. For any chance for anybody to get back inside this top 20, they want to see the pace lights go out now. And it does not. So this means Jeff James will start second in the Daytona, Daytona 500. And I just realized my Skype is on, and I can hear the Skype beep. Um, this is why I get offline. I guess why I get off Skype before I even get on NRR. But Jeff James, he will start second and lead the charge on the outside groove there. Or yeah, he'll yeah he'll lead the charge on the outside groove. No, no, no. He'll lead the charge. Where is he even going to start? That's right. Jeff James, remember he qualified uh, on the front row for the Daytona 500, so he will start second, but everyone else, like um, Cody Lamas right here, he got second in this Daytona duel, which is really good for a rookie, but he is a big time veteran in other series. Cody Lamas, he is going to be starting in the um, third position in the Daytona 500, I think so, I think that's right. Yes, it is. So, everyone else like Bat Lamas, Acosta, um, right here, uh, Johnson's going to have to be in the last chance qualifier. But Stephen Jenkins and Ash LeMace, guys like that, are going to be starting on the bottom side in the Daytona 500 when Jeff James is going to be starting in second position in the Daytona 500. But this man right here, Nathan Timberlake, needed just a few more laps to try and put a move on Zebulu Stark there. The Squids Racing Team versus Coke Benning Enterprises, and they they gave it their heart out right there. But congratulations to guys like Zebulu Stark, who barely squeaked into this Daytona 500. I cannot believe that. So, <coughs> we're on the white flag lap now. Jeff James has won everything there is that he has competed in so far for this Daytona Speed Weeks. He won his session of the fastest guys and he was the fastest of all them guys in his session in qualifying and now he has won the Daytona duel everything he's attempted in for on track um, stuff he has been number one on the board so Jeff James could Jeff James possibly be um, winning he did not be in the bud shootout so could Jeff James be the fastest in his qualifying session start second in the Daytona 500 based off winning the Daytona Duel and also win the Daytona 500. That would be quite a sweep for Jeff James and Corweiser Racing right there. Corweiser's always been a real fast team right there. But we got ourselves a Daytona 500 Duel coming up again. That is the second Duel for today, and it'll be later on. Catch you in a few hours, guys.